Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Eye of the Beholder 2 where we left off last time we had forgotten the stone dagger in the Medusa dungeon which was just a heartbreaking moment but we're back, we have the dagger. It was, it was sad, but we're good. We're good, we're gonna continue on. We're gonna see where it takes us. Everything is gonna be a-okay now. I imagine that this will all be smooth sailing from now to the end, right? Improved identify. Oh, cool. We're gonna grab that on our mage so we can actually identify our own stuff when we inevitably lose Amber. Well, she has some identifying right now to do, so we could probably get some of that done. Interestingly, you can kind of do that. It's a composite bow. It's just, it's not magical. It's just a composite bow. Interesting. You know what we should actually do right now is scribe scrolls this one all of the scrolls because we didn't do that after we died or reloaded last time so that frees up some bag space and I don't think we need to carry around these anymore but like these Emmy of the life like what does it do I don't even know I'll throw it on anyways because I'm sure it's interesting at least Halberd is it magical we don't know that either. Do we have tech magic? We do. Okay, we need to get rid of all of our non-magical junk. So the halberd definitely, it definitely, definitely is magical. Which is nice of it to be. Um, we know that the crystal hammer is. Potions are the robe. We don't know anything. What the hell? Can you see I'm not busy identifying things? Go away. It is a row plus oh row plus one garbage. All right, we'll keep the stone dagger. The short sword is magical. Oops. It's a plus two short sword, so it's worse than the one we're currently using, which is the plus threes. Starfire is actually really useful, so we're gonna give it to him. It uh, makes mystic defense on us. I don't know what that does exactly. Does it armor class? Might be armor class. Something like that. Anyways, we're out of identifies now, but yeah. We'll have to eventually identify all of the stuff. Before the end of the game, I'm going to do that. Identify everything, so we're going into the next game. Where are we? Oh. Maybe we didn't need that one. Maybe we need the gem. Where is this going to lead us now? Nope, this is back down to the dungeon. So I guess we didn't need- well, we did need the stone dagger to get us out. But now we're- oh, we have that key! We picked up a key. Didn't we? I thought we had a cool key that we didn't know where it went to. Yes, the crimson key. Oops, this isn't where I want to be. Which is actually the level we are going to be on. Because we're in the cleric's quarters, that's where we are. Now if I were a key place, I'd be right here. Crimson key, finally. Wall carving that is very unique. Okay, so how do we get past that thing? I don't think we have anything that even looks remotely like that. Hmm. I will be right back when I figure that out. One second, guys. Alright, so I figured that thing out. It was actually pretty easy. Um... We needed the hilt of Talon, which we got on the Medusa floor. We need the tongue of Talon, which we had from the Frost Giant, or no, yeah, Frost Giant. And we need the eye, where did we put that? Who's carting around the eye? He is. And we get a sword called Talon. As I recall, it's actually a useful sword. It's a plus four sword called Talon. It's going to replace our other plus four sword because it looks cooler. And, you know, coolness is important. 
I'm gonna bust those things down. And there's something there, and something there, but we can also go downstairs. I just kind of want to know what's in this place. So, let's save first, because I don't want to die. That's going to suck. Right. This giant hole. Ooh, this thing does regenerate after a time. What the hell? Does the hallway shrink as we go through it? That's kind of weird. Um, I'm a little bit sort of confused by this, but okay, let's take a look again. So, I hear something wandering around. Regardless, that's not really our problem right now. Our problem is that we get teleported around, which is odd. So, there's two buttons. Anything else in here? What if we put something down? Aha! Hi guys. What the fuck was that? Excuse the language. Okay, that leads somewhere different, too. So we can go down a level, which might be good. I'm going to rest. What do you mean? We're in the middle of enemy territory. Why can't we rest? That's just silly. Oh, you're going to make this annoying, aren't you? Alright, so, we've gone down to some other floor. Hopefully there's something cool down here. We'll, I guess, find out shortly. This could also be the staircase that just leads from that hole, by the way. Just as a heads up as well. There's no guarantee this actually does anything useful. It's looking... That's where we fell down. Do you want to use shoot fireballs? Because a fireball definitely hit me before. I didn't appreciate it. Those ones shoot fireballs. Wherever you are. That hurts. Don't do that. Mean. Ooh, a scroll of true seeing. Might come in handy. Is this flail anything that I should know about? Nope, it's a plain flail. Alright, I guess that's all. Uh, but we can rest down here anyways. We might as well do that again because we got a little bit damaged there. So we can go up to something. Um, I'm guessing one of the last remaining places, if I had to hazard a guess. Which I guess we'll find out shortly. Hmm. Oh, what the... Why would you be waiting for me at the top of the stairs? You could have come and killed me while I was sleeping. Would have been a better choice. Hmm. Alright, let's go up here. We don't need this. No password. Well, this is very swanky looking and kind of demonic. 
very demonic actually. So when we came out of here, we were facing west. I like to get my bearings just kind of based on where I think we are, but I'm not guaranteed that's where we are. And we're going north. Well, here's to not dying, eh? This is actually kind of hard to see in. There are lots of teleporters around. Ow. Ow. Oh, I'm ambushed. You guys are painful. Well, now I have to rest again. Your boss is going to be awfully mad that you're delaying me for so long. With all these multi-day rests in his dungeon of death. Okay. I wonder if this tower is the last one, or if we were supposed to go to the other tower? I don't know how to get past that hole though, so... I think we'll be fine. Let's just continue on our way. Okay, back we go people walking. Oh, there's at least one of these dudes. Oh, this is gonna suck, isn't it? That's only magic missile. Okay. One second, I will be right back. Sorry about that, I had a visitor at my door and I'm actually being attacked still, which I forgot about because it's been like several minutes. There are an awful lot of these mages. Okay, let's reload really quickly. We're going to have to be a little more careful about how we face these things off, because they are... I can't just go jumping into teleporters. Or, I mean, I guess I could. Why not? We have sticky paper. Where am I? Oh, I'm back at the beginning. I hear things walking. Okay. Well, let's take a look here. What does sticky paper does? Oh, maybe the sticky paper's for that. The sticky paper is actually stuck on our character. Okay, <laughs> so we can easily get the sticky paper. Or we could, if I did it right. Oops, that is absolutely the wrong way. Okay, try this one more time. No! You can't step into that area, it just sets off the worst situation for us. Okay. Also, really quickly, our people are hungry. Let's get that going. Okay, sticky paper stays in the inventory. Doesn't go in hands. I don't want to go there. Sure, here is fine. Wait, this is different. This is not okay. Where the hell am I now? I don't even know what that did. I don't even know where I am. I'm just throwing levers now. Okay. Where are we? I honestly have no idea where I am. There's a triangle here and I don't know what it does.
What's that? Crimson ring. Hear someone tromping around. Where the hell are we? Oh, we're in the North Tower now. We somehow went to the North Tower. Okay. Weird. How did we get there? Okay, let's try to go... Again. I don't know what this thing does. Whatever. Sounds like there's a lot of people walking around. Alright, well, we'll just get out of here. Which way was it? It was this way. We need to go back up that other tower. We know of sticky paper, but I don't know what the sticky paper does. So, yeah, that's the thing. This last part of the game is very confusing, but at least we figured out how to get to the north tower, kind of. We can't go there yet. We opened it before, how did we do that? No, that's a good way to get ambushed again. Are we back in the North Tower again? Okay, we're not doing that again. Um, okay. How did we get rid of that last time? So... South doesn't do anything. West sends us to the North Tower, I think. Shit, I did it again. Ow. Back at the North Tower. This is very confusing and kind of annoying. Ah, I went faster than you this time. Your ambush failed. Oh, we have to kill them. Okay. Now we have the sticky paper. But it doesn't do anything. Of course it wouldn't. Why would it do the thing I needed it to do? I know it's an interesting carving, but that does not help me at all with the situation that I'm in. Oh, the ring! The crimson ring! What am I talking about? The wall collapses in upon itself and a void opens before you. Will you step into it? Sure, why not? Alright, so things are going pretty okay. A mage scroll of fear. Alright, what are these? There's weird things. Oh, there are weird things on the floor, but I think that's just the texturing of the carpet. No, it's definitely not. Okay, I'm guessing this is there's a trick to this somehow. They always stay a couple away from you. Hmm. Any weird hidden buttons or anything like that? Walking backwards towards them doesn't seem to work either. Ringmaster am I, watch me fly. That doesn't help me at all.
Hmm. Watch me fly. Do I have any other crimson rings around that I don't remember getting? Wait a minute. I have an idea. I was hoping the sticky paper would help. Oh, it did help. I just had to do it properly. Thank you, sticky paper. Next level then, I guess. Alright. One ring to bind them all. Uh, Tolkien might have a few things to say about that particular phrase, but not my place. I mean, I have a ring, I just don't know where to put it. Wait, I can just walk through the walls. Oh. Plus three plate. It's the same as my current plate, apparently. Do I have magical plate on? No, but I have a ring of protection so they don't stack. Right. That's the same. Alright. Now which way? Oh, and there's a robe as well. Oops. Robe plus two. Fine, you can have it. It's garbage, though. You should not have that cloak. Somebody else should have that cloak. Just in case we can bring it. Oops. Okay, here's the way up to the next, next floor. Alright. I wonder how many floors there are. Like, there's got it. We gotta be pushing the end. This is... Large? Oh, crap. I moved and I didn't mean to. It rotates us as we approach. Oh, that's really annoying. Okay. Yeah. I thought for sure something weird was happening. Oh, there's a way up. Do I need to do anything here? I mean, I'm sure I do. We know where the exit is, kind of. You happen upon what looks like a shrunken giant. He begins to speak, Dren is a coward. Dren is no man. Dren will kill you. If you can, listen closely, listen to this. If Dren sees you coming, before he can finish, the last of his body turns to stone. Oh. You're bad at warnings. Could you have just said something quicker and not rhymed it? No, well, that's the way down. I need to go south, I think. I haven't been south yet. Can I just dispel magic on that, maybe? Hmm. 
Can't break it down either. I wonder if there's like a lever or something for this. Um. Hmm. All right, let's go north. Damn it. It's kind of annoying to try and make my way around this area. I think this is where the giant was. Yes. We've already done this. Okay. And we know the way down. I need to figure out this wall of force thing. I think I'm going to have to play around with this a little bit and I'll be right back when I figure this out. Give me a couple seconds here. Alright guys, I found a strange creature. A strange creature blinking like a lunatic stands before you. It is apparently trapped by an unknown force, yet it looks like it may be able to touch the party. In a blur of green, a tentacle lashes out and briefly frisks the party. Mine, mine, go now, run. Lest, like me, you become a lovely tree. And he dropped a coin. The coin's important, because we actually did a little bit extra stuff. Um between videos here. So I've done this level already. Oops, I think I did it wrong though. Yeah. So we go here and there's a hidden wall here. Yep, I did it wrong. Okay. We are on the corner. We find the hidden wall. Go around this corner. There's another hidden wall. Then we go up. Now we found this area. This is where we need the coin. Oops. To open this door. If we didn't have the coin, and open the door. We're gonna save over. Oh no! Great. Wizards. Ooh, with some bracers of protection. Kinda useless, but who knows? Maybe useful someday. Um. Let's continue to look around. Another double door with some more wizards. These ones with considerably more armor than their brethren had. Oh my god, I think it's so that was close. We have to be getting close to the top now. They're running out of towers. And that's that. Oops, don't want to drop anyone. Just want to save. Shouldn't have saved right there. That was a terrible idea. Luckily we saved on a different one, but we can... Move like that. Apparently when you get there, oops, oh damn, your lightning fast spellcasting won't help you, that ring might though, just give me the ring and I'll spare your life, what kind of ring of protection is it, plus, plus one, really? Go oh, a ring of adornment. Okay, so that was a little ambush that we ran into, but that's perfectly okay. And up we go, another... These were on the previous floor too. Uh, not the previous one, but that maze one. There's only one of them, so now there's at least two. Or three. But... Dead, so doesn't really matter. I want what's in there. How do I get in there? I'm guessing it's disintegrate, but we can't cast disintegrate because we're not a high enough level. I don't think I have any spare 
scroll of disintegrates lying around. Does not appear so. So, I guess... Or maybe these open things. Maybe they do. Something opened. I heard a sound. This hole feels lukewarm to the touch. I would recommend not sticking any important things into it. The north wall feels warm. The hall of many hells. Super. That sounds lovely, I guess. All right. All right, one sec. I just have to do a quick thing. All right. Hmm. Well, I want to say like, okay, so south. Let's try this. I just want to try one thing. Before we can make this too complicated, there's two discs. Where's that other disc go? Now let's check the south one. Okay. So that one's too hot to the touch. The other one was lukewarm. Is there one that is the best one? Um, okay. Well, we tried east, and then we tried south, so let's try north or west. West doesn't seem to have one. Where'd the other thing go? Okay, west. Yeah, west doesn't seem to have anything, so north it is. Is it going to be just right? It was warm to the touch. Oh. I only have two of these things, though. Where am I supposed to get another one from? Okay, um... I guess we're gonna have to go search for an orb. I can't believe they wouldn't give us one on this level somewhere. Can I take these out? No. Okay, I'm gonna have to go and figure this out, and I will be back in a couple of seconds here. Okay. I'm back. So I determined I couldn't actually go out of this area anymore. So what I had to do instead. And this is something that I do not recommend ever doing, unless you are very good with computers. I hex edited a sphere into our game. Oh, wait, where am I? I need to find the stairs so I can do this properly. There we go. I hex edited a sphere into the game so we could actually do this properly. I can't actually get back to where you can create spheres because we've come too far. So just as a heads up, make sure you have three spheres before coming here. This was the singularly most painful experience ever. Okay, so now we have three, right? One, two, and three. We did remove his swords so that I could find his hand inventory easier in the hex editor. 
Never doing that again. Ever. Now where's this stupid twisty thing? Uh, okay, so that one's facing north. And we just need the other one now, which is where? Not there. We could get this party on the road if I could only remember where the other thing was. Ah, there it is. They're both already facing north. The north one should be down. Well, I'll turn it to east. Do east first. Okay, east gets an orb. I'm so tired now. It took me like an hour and a half to do that. Text editing is not my specialty. I am very rudimentary knowledge about it. Consequently, if you guys are looking to hex edit your games, I'm not that person for you. Sorry. Oops. I also have to go delete all the hex editing software and stuff that I have. With the placement of the last sphere, the room suddenly comes alive. Three intense bolts of energy strike the central wall. Oh man, where the wall once stood, light now shines from a hole in the ceiling. And that's where we're going to end the video for tonight. Uh, we are going to, well you know what, I'm going to continue on. We're going to try and beat this tonight. But I'm going to take a couple minutes just to remind myself that I don't hate video games. So I'll see you guys shortly. Take care.